Good night, Reed. I'm turning off all the lights and locking the doors. Hey, what's up? This is Reed. I've been wondering lately what it would be like to have a machine tell me what to do all day, almost to like control my life. I'm going to be using 12 different Alexa routines to help me be more productive, help with my family, and improve my security. In this video, I'm going to show you some pretty awesome stuff, like having music automatically play when you get home or when you walk into a room, or do this. Front door open. And for even more ideas, check out our article right up here. Getting up in the morning is not easy for me, but it's really changed since I've been using routines to help me wake up. I have lights slowly turn on a few minutes before I get up. To do this, I have a smart light that turns on to 1% brightness at first, and goes up to 20% brightness a minute later, and 50% brightness a minute after that. I'm just using a really inexpensive but high quality bulb, which I'll link down in the description along with everything else. Then I have Alexa talk to me at a low volume, which has been way better than my phone's alarm clock that I normally use. Read, wake up, seriously. Time to get up and do something with your life. I have these repeating every single day, but you could also only run them on the weekdays. After I'm awake, my next routine kicks in. My kitchen echo dot starts playing music, which motivates me to get out of bed and walk to the kitchen to eat breakfast. After the music plays, I have a few tasks that get kicked off. The weather, traffic, calendar, and news from the flash briefing. At the moment, traffic on your commute looks good. The fastest route takes about 27 minutes. I have my morning routine that's automated with a schedule and the same morning routine that can be triggered with my voice. And it's annoying that I have to have two separate routines, one for a schedule and one that has to be triggered with your voice. Hopefully in the future, those can be combined. The next routine is when I leave the house or come home. When I leave, all the lights can turn off, but what if my wife is still home? A routine can only use one device's location, so it would be better for me to use something like SmartThings or Hubitat to handle that task. However, when I come home, I have it play a song to welcome me home. Walking in the door with a song playing is so much fun. It's like your house is throwing you a little party every time you come home. I love it. Well, I love it when it works. Sometimes the music starts playing after I've already arrived home, so you might have to adjust the radius of the geofence. And if it doesn't work and you have an Android phone, you might have to change the battery optimization for the app. At the end of the day, you can have a night routine run automatically or with a phrase. Close everything down. Good night, Reed. I'm turning off all the lights and locking the doors. I'll be listening to every breath you take while sleeping tonight. Waiting to hear my name so I can talk to you again. Love you. Next, using routines to assist you and your family. And I don't like being the mean parent. That's Alexa's job. I'm a better parent than you anyways. Have a motion sensor in your kid's room, and when they go into the room after school, have it remind them to do their chores or their homework. Welcome home from school. Time to clean your room and do your homework. If there's motion in the hallway in the middle of the night, you can have a routine turn on a light and let you know someone is out of bed. Red alert, a child has escaped. I'm just using a SmartThings motion sensor connected to my SmartThings hub. They're pretty inexpensive and the SmartThings motion and multi-purpose sensor work great with the Alexa routines. One really important tip when using sensors with routines is to limit how often the routines can get triggered. When you're setting up the routine, click on any time and there's a section at the bottom called suppress for, which will allow you to only run the routine every few minutes or once every five hours with 12 hours being the max. This is very handy because I have a light turn on when I walk into a room at night and music starts playing. If I don't have the suppress four turned on, then it would keep playing the song over and over again when the motion is triggered. The next routine is something I didn't know I could do until recently, which is really useful. I can schedule the volume to turn down on an echo device at night and turn the volume back up in the morning. If you have an echo device near a kid's bedroom, then this is a must have to help not wake them up. If your kids are playing an annoying song on Alexa over and over again, you can block it with a routine. Just make a routine with the same command to play the song and it will trigger the routine. Play Baby by Justin Bieber. Just have Alexa respond with a snarky response. New baby in this house is our five month old. To let your kids know you've defeated them with technology. There is no place in this home for Justin Bieber. If you have the echo buttons, you can set up a routine that will announce a phrase if it's pressed. You could train your dog to press it when they need to go outside or want a treat. Let me outside. We don't need to open the door for you, Luna. Go outside, Luna. Go outside. Go outside. 
The last category of routines is security. Amazon announced the Alexa Guard recently, which can help protect your home. It uses the microphones and the Echo devices to listen for glass breaking, smoke, or CO alarms. It can also turn on the lights randomly when you're gone to make it look like you're home. If you have a SmartThings multi-purpose sensor on your door, you can have Alexa announce when the door is open. Front door open. This is nice to keep track of the kids going into the front yard when they shouldn't. Don't forget to add the suppress four on this or else it can be a little much when people are going in and out of the door. You might have noticed in routines that there's multiple options to have Alexa talk. There's Alexa says and in messaging, send announcement. And if you only want Alexa to speak on one device, use Alexa says. If you want to use multiple devices or all your devices, use send announcement. Lastly, you can have a message announced on all the Echo devices when someone presses the doorbell. This is nice if you're on the opposite side of the house to make sure you hear it. I will say that when my ring chime is going off, my phone is alerting me that someone's at the door, and all the Echo devices are saying someone's at the door, it can be a little much. I have really enjoyed implementing all these routines. I feel like I actually have a virtual assistant that's helping me out even when I'm not thinking about it. Sure, it can annoy my family sometimes, but having machines keep me productive has been awesome. Obviously, this is just scratching the surface on what you can do. I found a lot of these ideas on Reddit and in Facebook groups. I also came up with some myself. But what are some of your guys' ideas for routines? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more smart home videos, and we'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver, maybe an echo button that can ask for a treat, a treat is actually a bad idea.